all right, what's on the bench. Um, in Mike's care package to me, he included a bunch of these cool LEDs. Now, I'm really excited about these types of LEDs. Um, I've showed them before on the channel. Um, and uh, let, me, let me show you let me show you what I did on the uh, previous video. I'll try to make a link down below here. Um, I actually laid out a board. I, I had some of these uh, from my old HP days, and I found a bunch of these on eBay once for $4 each, which was just a screaming deal. Yeah, go try to price these things out. Yeah, they're not $4. Uh, they are quite expensive. All right, so let me... Uh, I hook up five volts here, so uh, here you go. Um, so yeah, they're they're a really lovely display. They're dot five by seven dot matrix, and each dot is an individual LED bonded in. Um, I'll take some I'll take some close up videos here of or close up pictures here of the uh, of those parts. They're they're really quite amazing, and that's why they're so expensive. There's a bunch of labor involved in placing all of those die, all nice and even, all the same color. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into making these things. And then there's some smarts in them. They have uh, uh, a chip in there that decodes the data and multiplexes everything. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I've done this board before, but it got me excited again about these displays because I'd forgotten all about them, and I have a whole bunch now. Um, oops, let me push that out of the way. Let that run back there. Um, so these are the ones that I had before. I've got these big ones here from, from Hewlett Packard. These are HDSP 2111s. And then like I said, I bought a whole bunch of these for four bucks each. Uh, they're eight segment, uh, eight digit uh, DS, PDSP uh, 1881. Um, they're, they're, they're a lovely display that that just as, as you saw, the board had one of these and one of these in them. Okay, so these are the ones that uh, Mike sent over. Uh, so some are very similar to the to the one I just showed, like like this one here is a nice uh, a nice long one. Um, some are short. Some are only four digits, uh, like these here. This one looks like an HP display. I could just tell by the looks of it. Yeah. Uh, this is an HTLO 2416. There was a 2414. I think 2414s were like the first one that, that uh, HP made. Um, and these are probably Siemens or something like that. Let me pull one of these out. Got stuck to the phone. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Siemens. Uh, D. This is a 2416 also. So these are pin compatible. This is the HP version. This is the uh, Siemens version. Siemens and um, Osram are kind of competitors in that space. Um, there's a couple other parts in here. This one's super, super cute. I'm going to see if I can... I'll do a video on me trying to make this one go. So in the old days, these were uh, paralleled parts, 8-bit data in and three bits of address for the eight digits. It was a whole bunch of lines you had to use. These are little serial devices. These are like SPI. Um, and so it won't take a lot of wiring to make one of these go. This is a HCMS-2902. So way after I left HP, I, I don't know anything about these parts, but they're, but they're super cute. They have a little HP there. Um, and then uh, some other ones here. We've got... Um, uh, these two, I'll talk about those in a little bit. But I did remember I have another box of parts. Let me see if I uh, remember where that, oh, here it is. So I've got a box here of really old LEDs. Um, and some of these parts are in there. I need to put them in the right orders here. So here's another uh, 2111. Okay, so I'll put that over here. And uh, then I have some more. Uh, these are 20, these are Siemens 2437s. I got some of those. Uh, these are a bit different. These uh, have the uh, little fisheye lens on them and a single die LEDs. Uh, also a 2416. Um, so these are, must be pin compatible as well, but a different type of display. I've got a whole bunch of those, so I must have picked those up along the way while it was HP. Um, here, it's clear on the back so you can see the die, the die, the decoding die that's on the back and the LEDs are on the front. And a precursor to these 
were these. These are the first ones they did. And these are just, um, uh, they're very, very difficult to drive. <laughs> I'll put it that way. They're very, very difficult. Um, and uh, you would stack these up. They're four, four segments each. And they are, they are a um, five by seven, but it's seven strips of LEDs. And each, each strip of LED is actually addressable with uh, five LED. So it's, it's a five by one LED and then those get stacked up. So yeah, these are ceramic too on the back. Yeah, that these are, uh, I have these because they're prototypes. They don't, they don't even have a part number on them. They just have a code on the back for like uh, uh, some type of testing and stuff. So these were, these were pre-production, pre-production units that I have there. Um, and then uh, I've got a bunch of these. I've um, showed them before. These are the little hexadecimal displays with the decoder driver on them as well. And, and uh, yeah, so I should uh, organize my parts here and and uh, put together the ones that are most useful. Um, but uh, I thought it was a fun look today uh, of these parts here. I think I'll try to light this one up. I've never seen one of these before. It's a... Uh, uh, gold dip <laughs> and it's a seven segment display uh, and uh, I've never seen one I don't know who makes this there's no part number on this one it also kind of looks like a prototype of some sort but um, might be TI um, not quite sure not quite sure but let's uh, let's see if we can't get him to uh, turn on okay let's put him here in the prototyping area this is just a, an area where there's just a whole bunch of pull-ups. And uh, we'll just poke around with the ground and see if we can get something to light up. All right. And here's a ground wire. And Oh, there we go. They all lit up. Uh, so let's see if we can zoom down on that. And change the exposure of the camera here so you can see it. Anyway, there you go. It looks like one of those displays where the, there's a stripe with five LEDs on one bar of LED material. And then there's seven of those placed in there. Uh, yeah, kind of an interesting little, uh, kind of an interesting little LED. I've never seen one of those before. But I'm kind of jaded. I was at HP Opto Electronics Group and I didn't really pay attention to much of the competitors. Uh, okay, and I'll just leave you here with some uh, uh, microscope work. We can look at some of these uh, parts. They're, they're pretty nice under the microscope. You can see how much uh, work there would have been to bond all of these and what, what type of failure rate, right? You had to get them all right. One, one goes, it's a, if one's bad, you have to throw the whole thing away. So you gotta make sure your wire bonder is in good shape and uh, get them all together. All right, chip of the day, some HDSP type devices.